Hello and welcome back. Right. We need to go and get the mowers. That was the next job. Let's get this done. There's a couple of spots I <laughs> need to clean up on this one. It is a bit, still got quite a bit of grass left. Maybe another bale even. Looking at that little lot. Enjoying this, it really is a lovely map. Now oh, then, are you following or have you lost me? Right, we need to set this course. Yes, I'm trying not to. This is my relaxing uh, let's play. I'm not going to put too much pressure on myself. Sometimes I always try to squeeze too much into things. Sometimes it's about having a bit of a chill. Right. Large grass field, field edge. Cost generation. Caught you loaded. Headland. Now this is going to be quite a big, I should say 10. Maybe 12. 7 metres. That's not a bad guess, Mr. Smith. Save. Large. Grass field. Seven meters. Ah, like that to be underscore. Seven meters. Start course at first. Go. Let's grab you a follow. Same course. Large grass field, seven meters. Nearest. I need to see the lines. Twelve, so we need to be about six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think three tractors probably unnecessary and I think we can just about still afford one. We're not getting to the point where we've got absolutely no spare money. I know we've got to be careful because we've got no sure what to go for. My absolute favourite modded one. I could go for the 86 series though as well, that's nice. I like the Aquatron 
though, I really do. It's definitely one of my favourites. Could go for it. Do we need it to have a front? A minute. Definitely second hand. Let's go for a 150 and let's tune it. Let's make this to the to be the real powerhouse, but it's only got a back three point link. That will stick to, to the rim collar. Okay. Yep. Twenty nine thousand. We will buy a three front point link at some point, but just. Not now. Is there anything else I need while I'm down here? Just seems silly not to... Yes, we are eventually going to need... Going to need a plough. I'm not sure if we can afford... I think we're going to need to go for something cheap and cheerful like the... Yep. Yeah. It would have taken age to do a field, but we'll, we'll probably buy it. Yeah, in fact, let's buy three. Because that does make quite a considerable. Let's, let's go and repair this. Let's fuel it up. repair it. Right. I suppose, truthfully, that lower field I could start to Allow that and make that into a real field, being as we've actually already cut the grass. That's not a bad idea. Hmm. I know there was a bit of grass, but it's not, not the end of the world. It's not the most, it's the maximum of a bale. So we want grass field, field edge, course generation, cotton loaded headland, let's do seven, ten. to create a lack of fields. Yeah, lovely. And go. One other thing we need to buy is we need to buy the caster. under cedars. This is a very, very reasonable start-up. Ideal for grass. Well, it's ideal for any seeding, to be honest. It's only a small caster. We'll go new, it's not that. Yeah. And we do need a fertiliser spreader. We'll go small, because we are getting not. I should go for... That 
does both, but it's got a reduced. Let's go for the starer. That's a really reasonable. The beauty of the star is, mind you, we've got the Fent GT. You can, the star, have a back trailer. Let's go for a three ton zipper. You do not get any cheaper than that. We also need a Fent GT platform. Let's go for let's go for two. That's for seeds and lime. And that's for fertilizer. I can't think. Alright, crop protection. Let's go for the my usual startup, which is the Top 2000, you cannot get much better than that, really, as a startup. Right, let's see how those two are doing. How are you doing? Have you reached the. No, another couple of rounds. See how the John Deere is doing. Oh wow! Not long. This field will be done in a couple of minutes. Hmm. Yeah, no, that's yeah, not bad. Excellent. It's amazing how what a team is in my oh. Oh no, that is the bit he's doing now. A team of tractors is always so much better than a big one, I always find. I know there's the wage element to... Oh, I knew there was something I'd forgotten. I hate doing this. I don't like... Yeah, and... I don't like not paying. I don't use cosplay. It's a cheap way for workers, I just think it's better. So that's now costing us as it should do. My workers are not trying to take advantage. Faffy bit. Let's call that bush as well, but it missed. nearly finished its round as well so that's brilliant just cut that last little bit in the middle that bush can only annoy oh yeah you've still got a ton of it to do just let it finish this round Let's 
silly. Let's grab the John D. Can go and get the windrower. Wow, cracking job. Excellent. I need a bit of finishing off to do when he's doing the little tiny. GT to be doing this because it could handle this and then we could have this one bailing. Right, I'd imagine the fence as by now finished that last little bit. Oh, look at the pretty flowers, aren't they gorgeous? Oh, the Agritron's doing a cracking job of that. finished. Thank you young man for your help. Cracking job. Let's put these over on the concrete. Let's fold that back one up. Let's drop that front mower. many but That's one thing we do need, whilst we have got some money left, is a liquid tanker. I'm going to go for my absolute favourite. Let's set this going first, and then we should buy that. There's not many more things I think that I've forgotten. isn't it? Which I know you would think it's not. No, we could do the weight as well. This is a lovely modded one, ideal for when you're trying to penny pinch. Let's go for colour red, grey. 
and yeah, you can't moan at $250, can you? Then we want miscellaneous. I love this. It's a bit of a TARDIS. It really is amazing. Transtype bought it TC by Rolly Christie. Second hand though, definitely. Yeah, I like waves actually. We will go for an attack match. I don't know. I don't very often attach something to the back of that. But it's, it can be handy, and for that sort of money. Right. Let's see how they're doing. Now we are getting to the crunch. We are on our own devices now. Because so we have no passive income. Some of the grass is dry and some of it isn't. Let's go and have a look how the uh, Agritron's doing. Oh, it's just there. I can just see him through the trees. Or her. I didn't see who was driving. I won't presume. So we've got the cedars. I think I don't think let's have a look in the garage. I'm sure we're about right now. Three tractors. Auto loads. Fertilizer line. Three ploughs. Cedar. Sprayer. Mowers. Windrower. Baler. Wait. Crop sensor. Yeah, I think we're about there. There'll be the odd thing I've forgotten. I re I know that, but that's not bad. I think we've got everything we need. Ah, do there is one thing I have forgotten. I've got to look at my. Where are we going to build to? I would eventually like to buy those fields around the farm. I always like to keep it central. Well, look at all that for. That would be a long field, wouldn't it? It's quite a narrow strip, though, of actual field, but. Yeah, that is quite a lot, to be honest. So look how much these little fields are. Yeah, for saying they're already fields that are done, they're not bad at all. I think, yeah. I think they're the next what we'll buy, to be truthful. Definitely. Just that one. Mm. Yeah, I think I think we're on the path. We really are. I think we've got Yeah, I do. We're literally uh, going to be a silage baron for a little while. Selling silage, digestate. So we're, we're grassing all of these fields to begin with. And because of the growth seasons, it will give us the means to earn some money, especially on normal economy. If we do these as both grass fields, proper grass fields, we'll crop sensor them and do that so we get best yield we possibly can and then from the money we earn from that we shall plough it straight into all the fields and when we earn enough we shall start to plant normal crops even if we have to hire a harvester we haven't said yeah we will we'll allow hiring we're not going to make it too stringent we've already got some quite stringent things to reduce some of our income or to make it tougher no bank loans so yeah we will We've got to be trying to be balanced it's actually getting the 
GT. Have a good look. Wow, this is quite a large field actually. Yeah, you can see why I want to make these into proper grass though. The yield on that is a little bit... It's not wonderful. For, for saying how large this field is. And it is large. This will make this very, very much more productive. But bearing in mind, this is free grass. So I'm not complaining about that. Yeah, there's an awful lot of grass up here. But there's also an awful lot of trees. Six, seven, eight. I haven't looked at the prices on this to see what it's favouring and how much silage and things like that are on it. 270 standard prices. Well, it's not a bad price from the supermarket. Digest 8. Ooh, now that's nice to see. I've been playing hard economy quite a lot, and to be honest, that's usually. Half that. That's going to make that's going to actually do us proud. What's the Agritron doing? Let's have a quick look at the Agritron and see how that's actually doing. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's going to be there. It is a he for a long while. Yep, let's go back up there. Yes, and the other thing is time lapse. If we're doing big fields, the same as I've done on my low oak and um, my Hellfowl Let's Plays, I literally will do time lapse I'm not doing it on this episode because I've been chattering too long but for a field of this size I think it's not a bad thing to time lapse it's not fair to invite guests I will do I really do like to do extreme by which I mean I show you all footage but that means I have to try to streamline it which does mean things like time lapse if you're doing a big field or yeah, yeah, I think that's that's fair as well. So time lapse only on big fields where necessary. Don't want to make this uh, too long for people to be looking at. Uh, there's more bales than I thought actually we are going to get quite a few off this if I'm honest in time when we do turn to standard farming from being a grass silage baron um, yeah we'll, we'll convert these fields from grass into standard crop types unless we just choose to leave these as grass and go for the, the ones around there as my normal crop types I suppose we could do contracts oh wow there's a few more contracts
contracts are something which I very rarely do, but on my low note, I've got to be honest, it did teach me to not ignore contracts, especially if at the beginning of a Let's Play when you have sometimes got a bit of time on your hand. At, at the minute, this is... We've not so tight that we would need to, and we've got a lot of work to be doing ourselves. This is going to take an absolute age, even with three tractors to plough. That won't be this session, but... Right, we're on a six-day season, which means it takes two days to turn into silage. Is that right? third of us I think that's right my memory is shocking That's a bad mistake. I never checked for rain. Gordon Bennett. Let's have a quick look at prices. So I think everything's standard normal. I don't think there's anything. Oh, wow. It does favour manure on this. Look at that. 720. Yeah, this, that is an excellent price. So truthfully speaking, yeah. Oh, good price for sugar as well. So we could actually go sugar beets. Yeah. Quite a lot to go f to take into, but definitely uh, manure. So animals, cows are definitely a good idea to go into. I think I would say we've probably got room next to the um, slurry yard for my tell you what, let's go and do that let's go and have a look this is just a, I'm sure it goes to just past this, let's have a look animal pen oh, I've got productions on, I must have it's not let me open animal pens that always does that if you've got Do wish Global Company would do a small one as well. Yeah, ah, it'll be those. It'll be the Maze Plus things. No, it won't. It's, it will be Global Company though. Hmm, not sure. I thought I'd got all productions switched off, but we shall see. Don't think they'll be far off. Window looked close to finishing. Yep, a couple more cycles, I think, or maybe even one. Yeah, I think a, a down and an up, and then that is it. Actually, there's a tiny bit of clean-up work to be done that the course is not allowing for. Let's just go and grab that. Just do a straight run straight down the middle. Just to grab all that. It's quite a bit. about it we'll do a manual run just down that to clean that last bit and there's a tiny bit in the middle we'll grab that Ooh. 
No, that'll do. Right, we could. Because we can't pick up those bales. We could go and grab another plough and start to plough the bottom one. Oh, I don't know. He's doing a cracking job. Could get the cedar, I suppose, thinking about it. And one of the Fent GT platforms. While the baler carries on and he carries on ploughing. Got to make the best use of our equipment. Now, how bad is that going down there? Yeah, it's not bad. It's not too... No, that looks a proper field. This one here. It is. Oh, wow. Right, so we want... we'll go for green. And we want the... Lancer Cedar. Fill these up. Oh. Now then, does this... Can I get reasonable seeds from this, thinking about it? Let's see the cost and see if it... Let's see prices. Is this as... if it's good? Oh no! Oh, oh, oh no! No, that's not as good as my container. That's going to cost us an arm and a leg. So container it is. So if we are having mainly the... We need to try and think of strategic placing of the container mod. I would say near this tree. Because it's not too far for the... The ones up top to come down. And it's not... It's quite close to the... Where the middle of all the fields are. So let's do that. This is an absolute ace mod. Absolutely ace. Yeah, if we stick that... Oh. Brilliant. Let's try and level it a little. Ooh, I should have checked how level it was. That was very naughty of me. before I forget. Now. S set the course at least. Seed in. Field, field edge, course generation. Leave it on nine, it'll change it to about six or seven, I would imagine. Ooh, wow, four. Save. Grass field. Ten meters. No, yeah, that, actually we will do that. Let's have a look how the bait is doing at the top. How are you doing? Oh, wow. Excellent. Fantastic. Absolutely motoring. We'll grab these all all together. And 
then next session what I'm going to do is I'm literally going to grab all three of them to plough this top field once we've got the uh, bales by the BGA while they're fermenting going off Ooh. yeah there's definitely going to be a few bales that's good it's going to bring in some uh, a reasonable amount of cash being as we're relying totally now on what we produce ourselves which on seasons is not the easiest of things to do still we've always got contracts and treasure to fall back on I think we're going to take over ourselves a little bit now to be honest for a while it's amazing how on these the round balers you forget about lifting the back and that keeping your eye Still a few little bushes that need chopping. Now oh, that's hardly worth grabbing. Right, not much left now. a lot ok then that's towards next time then let's drop this off cracking job I am absolutely amazed let's drop this off at the top let's grab that and let's go and in round bales yes stack right let's grab them that's my timer telling me I've done my time but we shall finish this job and see how they're doing at the bottom she'll uh, fill this trailer I'd imagine and have a, a little bit spare uh, have we lost any down the mountain have we any rollers? Oh, really? All my life? I never for one minute thought he'd actually finished. Oh, amazing. Oh, excellent. Wow, I think we're going to... That's brilliant. Switch off. Oh, no 
losing a bit of traction. It is quite a hefty hill. It is only 120 horses under the bonnet. This is something the Agritron would be better at, but it can manage this. I do sometimes expect it to do things well above and beyond, though. It is a plucky little tractor, though, to be honest. I have, on my low note, I ran this, um, yeah, in fact, the Fent GT and this for a long while as my main tractors. And then there came a couple of times where it struggled, and then we bought the Agritron in that as well, to be honest. It does tend to. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's go and do that. The most important thing is to finish that planting. We'll do the clean up ourselves though. Because there's always. Oh wow, certainly missed. This must be where it went over when the Agritron was still. Let's do that corner. I hate to see, see bits that aren't planted. Yeah, you must have gone over this while the Agritron. while it was still grass and the agrotron hadn't um, finished it so now then let's get that done not bad though I'm really quite chuffed and really didn't expect for this to get uh, done we should grab the bales next time there's no rush for that just chuffed that we've actually got this replanted. We'll get it scanned and before we start ploughing the next one, scanned, limed, and fertilised. Oh, I know I don't, so I'm not trying to. Let's go backwards. There we go. I think that's everything. Let's just have a quick, slight, quick taz around the field. And I know that's not going to be quite right but it's going to be grass on grass it's not going to look terrible right let's just check around here I'm sure there's a couple of tiny patches of I hate it when you see those bits of brown sticking through when your grass starts to grow it looks it really does ruin things I always think Yeah, there's a, just a couple of tiny bits just around the edge here. Not a lot though. Yeah. Brilliant. Right, okay then, let's go and fill this with seeds. ready for next time it thrashes into action even though I think there's enough I always like, I am a bit of OCD about that particular type of thing always like to fill my things so they're ready for action next time but I suppose in some ways I know technically it probably would be the worst thing to do with fertiliser maybe lime would be okay but let's run this up the top ready for action next time yeah, and the Agrotron. Let's put it on Follow Me. That's one field done. Excellent. Proper grass. I'm well chuffed with how many uh, bales. Thank you, young man. Right. Let's just feel that and then we'll go. That will be the end of the session. And a very productive session, I might say. I'm really chuffed with how well we've done. This is going to take some ploughing, though. I'd imagine this is definitely going to be a time lapse job.
definitely. Yeah, even with three of us, three tractors all ploughing, it's going to take a long while to plough. Oh wow, yeah, loads. Very good. Much better than I uh, anticipated. Mind you, no, some of these are from the other field, so yeah, it's not. One more. In fact, yeah, I will do that. It's just going to help. What I'm going to do is I'm going to dump them on the... Pla uh, the um, in fact, yeah, I could put them at the back here. Right, let's go and see if I remembered my configuration right. Yes, excellent. Let's get all of them off the fields. And we also know how many we've actually got. At least then it's ready for um, ploughing next time. I do believe that's 50 bales. That is excellent. Really amazing. For saying it was just standard grass. a wrap. Let's leave that there. So next time we'll grab the three sets of ploughs and we'll get ploughing on that. Now it's all sorted. That will be something. Could I suppose if I leave the John Deere on the outside I could actually do the field scanning with him. If I do the others on the inner section and he's following them Mind you, that's gonna no, it's gonna be too hard to do. We'll scan it afterwards. It's too too much of a faff. Anyway, without any further ado, I'm gonna say thank you very much for watching. I hope you're gonna continue on this let's play. I've I'm quite excited about it if I'm honest. I think this is it's got great potential. Really has, and I must do something with that. That is awful. I didn't think I'd actually got much of an edge on it, but I can see it is quite bad actually. Yeah, that needs sorting out, but not at the minute money is tight so yes without any further ado I'm going to say thank you very much for watching and goodbye for now <laughs>